Hi, it's Paul here from Rainbow Power Company. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to shut down and start up your uh, medium-sized off-grid power system. The basic premise here is we're trying to turn power off at the furthest reach of the system and then come back towards the battery bank. And when we start the system up, we start up the battery and then move it, move it out away from the battery towards your appliances. There's a good trick here that if you actually look on every single board, we've got a nice shutdown procedure. Basically, you'll be following the steps of that shutdown procedure all the way through until the system's totally turned off. And then you can follow this in reverse actually to turn the system back on. So if we look at number one here, it's just um, indicating that we need to turn off the generator. So when we shut down a system, we don't want a generator starting up or there being an extra source of power from a generator. Often the generator isn't around this area. You might need to go outside or to a generator shed. Make sure you turn that off. If it's an auto start generator, make sure you turn off the auto shut start functionality on that generator. From there, what we want to do is we actually want to turn off all your appliances. So first of all, you actually want to turn off, you know, shut down your computer, but you want to turn the, um, the, the appliances off at the actual power point themselves. Um, yeah, we don't want you to lose any work or anything like that. So of course there's going to be a blackout at this stage. So make sure you turn off all, the, all your appliances at their source. It also means when we turn the system back on, we don't get hit with a big surge of energy when we turn the inverter back on. So coming through, the next step is then to turn off the, um, the circuit breakers in your AC distribution box. So what we're doing here is we're actually just turning off all the AC breakers. Okay, so they're all in the down, which is the off position. This now stops power moving around the system. At this point, you'll notice your solar inverter goes into a fault state. It's perfectly all right. The fault that it's detecting is that there's just no 230 volt of electricity actually available. Next, we're gonna turn the solar off. So we turned off the solar breaker in here, but we're also gonna turn off underneath here, um, the DC isolator. So we're gonna turn the DC isolator off. This disconnects the actual solar coming into the solar inverter. This will blink for a few more seconds and then the lights will actually go out on it. You can see we've still actually got power to the board. And over here, we've still got power on the, on the inverter charger. So the next step is to turn the power off the inverter charger, just on the face switch here. And all the lights have now gone off. If we follow the flow of electricity, the, the inverter charger has actually been getting its power through the HRC fuse and down in here in our battery box. You can still see there's lights on in the battery box. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to turn the circuit breakers off inside the battery box. And then we actually turn the batteries off by switching the off button. Okay, there's now no lights anywhere on the system. So on the battery, the lights have gone out. And if we come up here, the lights are off on the inverter. The lights are off on the SunGrow inverter and there's no lights now on our color control at all. So we know the system's actually being turned off. In this state, the system's perfectly safe to work on. There's no 240 volt electricity flowing anywhere. Um, there is one other switch that we can use, which is the main HRC fuse, but we sort of just suggest people only use this actually in an emergency. You pull hard on the switch, it comes out. And what it allows us to do is actually remove the HRC. We have two fuses here that we can replace at times. And you can actually leave the system, take the HRC out, and now the system's fully shut down and, and no power can go anywhere and we've re physically removed um, the HRC fuse. To reinsert the HRC, make sure you just get it jiggling and moving really freely and then actually reinsert it and push quite hard. Make sure that that's been seated correctly in position. So to turn on the system, we just actually reverse that process. So we're going to turn the batteries on and we're going to move all the way back out towards our appliances. So again, if we come down here, so we're going to turn our batteries on. There's a little extra step though. So what we need to do is also um, hold our finger on the on button just for a split second until lights come on on the batteries. We're then going to turn our circuit breakers on. So now we've got power up through our HRC to our inverter. We can now turn the inverter charger on and we'll get a light that comes on here, indicating that we've got now power at our inverter charger. Again, reversing the sequence, we actually turn our DC isolator on. Solar's now coming into the SunGrow inverter. Now if I turn our solar breaker on here, we'll see that we actually get lights now on the SunGrow inverter. We can continue to turn all of the main switches back on. So we've got power now out to our power points. At this point, you'll see that the color control starts to boot up. What will happen is the system will now take a couple of minutes just to actually reset itself. And what we'll get is we'll actually get this, this light here will actually turn green and it's showing that power is actually being produced from the solar inverter again. You'll also be able to inspect um, after this boots up, you'll be able to inspect the color control. And it's really good to do that just to see that all elements of the system are now working again. Thanks very much. I hope that helped you just understand the, the shutdown and startup procedure here at RPC on our medium systems. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you like the content and you want to learn more about renewable energy, please subscribe. And yeah, you can check out the rest on our channel. See you next time.